Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. When hitting a third shot, do you more often hit a third shot drop or a third shot drive? Which shot gives you the best opportunity to move forward? Here's a high level money ball game, whatever that is, obviously they're playing for money. In the game, one team hits a combination of third shot drops and third shot drives, whereas the other team mostly hits third shot drives. Does it make a difference in the outcome of the game? Watch and find out and be sure to let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below which shot do you prefer to hit, a third shot drop or a third shot drive? Thanks to the YouTube channel Mandy Gabriel for posting this video. Let's go. Here are the players. All I know is that the player serving the ball is Mandy. Her partner will be the player in red in the back court, the player in black, and the player in white. In this game, I am going to focus mostly in on the third shots. Here's the first serve. Third shot drop, absolutely perfect. Able to speed it up and put the ball away. Let's go back and take a look. Watch Mandy with the third shot drop here. Her opponent has to go down and get it. In doing so, he pops it up just a little bit too high. And her partner does the backhand flick right at the woman in white. And she cannot get it back. Here we go again. This time, another third shot drop. Couldn't quite make it into the kitchen. And as you can see, her opponent is very tall. He was able to reach out, get that ball, and hit it to where Mandy's partner could not get it back over the net. Third shot drive this time. Absolutely perfect by Mandy. Watch what happens here. Unlike Mandy, the player in white is going for a third shot drive instead of a third shot drop. Mandy's just waiting for it. Hits it at the player in black's feet. He can only pop that ball up, and it goes right out of the court. Third shot drive, and boom. The player in the back court puts a tremendous amount of top spin on the ball, and he hits the ball very hard. However, his opponent was at the non-volley zone just waiting for that. He put his paddle up and hit the ball at a very nice angle to where his opponent could not get to it. Let's go back and take a look. Top spin drive, put away. Absolutely perfect. The player in red did not move his paddle. All he did was stick it up and let the ball hit it. And the force of the ball was at an angle to where the guy in black could not get to it. All right, so what happened there? Mandy was not able to get this to fall into the kitchen. The player in white plucks it out of the air. Mandy has to pop it up right there. Perfect third shot drop. I'd like to see Mandy get forward quicker, but I think she's going to be able to get this. She does great cross court shot there. Good get. Good get by the player in black. Can he do it again? They're trying to get all the way up. Now they are. Very nice job. Oh, and she hits it out of the court. After putting out a lot of effort to get back to the non-volley zone, she just hit that one out. But other than that, very nice play. She hits a third shot drive that time because the return of serve was very shallow. Look where she's standing. She is in the transition zone. She was able to put a lot on that ball. And let's see. Oh, he got it back over. Good. Nope. Just excellent play by all four players. Really good defense, and finally, a ball that was popped up too high, and the player in red put it away. A quick timeout to tell you about my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, 
where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. T-shirts, coffee mugs, tumblers, totes, caps, and Kiss Cut stickers. 65 clear, crisp, and clean designs to choose from. Use the coupon code YouTube and get 10% off your first order. Dink in style. Go to www.pickleballprintables.com or click the link in the description below. Shake and bake right there. Perfect execution. Watch what happens. Third shot drive here. The player in black pops it up. The player in red moves over, poaches this ball from Mandy, and hits it right down the middle of the court for the shake and bake winner. There you go. You cannot do it any better than that. So both the third shot drops and the third shot drives are working for the players in the near court. Let's see what happens this time. Third shot drive again. Trying to reset it. Still trying to reset it. There you go. Perfect. Nice get on the lob. Can she reset it and move up? Yes. Oh, and it's out of the court. That's just a great job by the players in the near court getting to the non-volley zone, having a ball lobbed, and having to get to the non-volley zone again. Third shot here. Just excellent. Oh, and she missed that shot, but very nice by the player in red. As you can see, sometimes they're hitting a third shot drive, sometimes a third shot drop. They are very good at both of them. Drive here. Goodbye. Perfect shake and bake. Nice. So far, the team in the far court is hitting mostly third shot drives. And the player in black hits the ball very, very hard. However, the players in the near court are ready for it and watch his partner in white. Here comes the third shot drive. She's not able to move up. He's able to move up here. She has to retreat now. She has retreated and the ball is put away. She was never able to move forward. So in that case, the third shot drive did not work. Let's see if they change things up. Well, he hit the return of serve out of the court, so they don't have to worry about what to hit on the third shot. Oh, and he hit it out of the court. Let's see what happens here. Third shot drive. That ball was going out of the court. And I think that ball landed in the court. They're smiling. She just stuck up her paddle and somehow that landed inside the court. Third shot drive. Good shot reset. Very nice. Nice angle. Cannot get it back over the net. Oh, he called that out? That was close. I guess it was from where I am. It looked like it was in, but he called it out. Nice. Oh, he just missed it. But great defense by Mandy. Watch this. Watch her get this ball somehow. I'm not sure how she did. Watch this. Oh, man, right at her toes, and she got that back. It's just very difficult to win when one team is out of position and the other team is in the correct position at the non-volley zone. Mandy and her partner got into a very defensive position. Perfect third shot drop. Fed it up. Nice defense. Oh, into the net again. They're changing sides. I think the score is 8-3. With the players now changing sides, you'll get to see just how powerful the player in black's third shot forehand is. However, the combination of third shot drives and third shot drops is working for the players in the backcourt. Except there, she missed it.
You're not gonna make every third shot drop. It's just not gonna happen. Oh, out of the court. There really is a lot to take a look at on this exchange. So let me go back. Look at how powerful that top spin forehand is. But he hit it from the service line. Mandy is waiting for it with her two-handed backhand, and it prevents the player who served it from moving forward. He does a good job at getting this ball. She's backing up now to defend. Tries a lob here. Still cannot move forward. Again, not moving forward. Cannot reset the ball. Now she's going to try to drive it here. That doesn't work. They're still stuck in the back of the court. He's trying to reset the ball, and he does it. But what happens? The player, the female player, did not move forward. She stayed behind the service line. Boom, another drive, another drive, and hits it right out of the court. She made the fatal error of not moving forward when her partner hit a perfect reset. It's very difficult to win points from behind the service line. She tried it, did not work. Got into a firefight, Mandy lost that time. I don't know who dug that ball from their toes, but it was a great defense. Either Mandy hit it or the guy in red hit it, I'm not really sure. Third shot here, look how hard this is. Still not able to move forward. Able to move forward now. The ball hit the tape. I think it kind of threw the guy in black off and he hit that ball out of the court. But as you can see what's happening here, I think they have hit one shake and bake on the third shot drive. However, the other third shot drives that have been hit by the team in the near court have not allowed them to move up. That's out of the court. That's a free point for the players in the far court. Third shot drive, hits the top of the tape. She's very good at hitting third shot drops. She decided to try a third shot drive right now. And I think third shot drops have been working better for the team in the back court than third shot drives. Allowed her to move up that time, very nice. Hit a little bit too high and sped up. Nice job by the lady in white. Oh, she almost got it. She was able to defend twice. Very hard shots right at her feet. Third shot drive. Watch this. Gets it back at her feet. Gets it back. Cannot get that one back. But nice job on the first two. So the strategy of the players in the near court is to hit third shot drives. That time it worked. The majority of them, it's not that they haven't worked, but they have not been able to move forward like they have with their third shot drops. There are a number of reasons a player will hit a third shot drive. First, they are hoping that their opponents pop the fourth shot up and the fifth shot is able to be put away. If that doesn't work, they are hoping the third shot drive allows them to move up maybe to the transition zone and then to reset the fifth shot into the kitchen, allowing them to move all the way up to the non-volley zone. Unfortunately, a lot of third shot drives are returned and the players that hit them are not able to move forward. And that is what is happening in a lot of instances in this game. Third shot drive again. And that's what happened. He could not move all the way up on the third shot. He made it up on the fifth shot. Unfortunately, it was hit too high, and Mandy put it away. Well, let's go back and take a look. He hits this ball really hard. Fifth shot, almost reset it. Boom. Third shot, drive again. Look where he is. Seventh shot, missed it. Tried to poach it, but missed it. I think the score is 9-5-1. 
Nice. They went with the third shot drive. Watch here. Firefight out of the court. The team in the near court is switching. So the male player has the ad court and the female has the service court. Let's see if they do it again. No, they didn't do it that time. I think that ball might have been going out. Nope, just not good enough. Great angle. All four of these players are just top-notch players. They really are, even though the team in the far court is way ahead. Third shot drive. Just waiting for it. Fifth shot, try to reset. Look where they are. They were stuck at the back of the court. The third shot drive did not allow them to move forward. So was it successful? I will have to say, no, it was not. Third shot drive again. For the winner, look at Mandy. Watch this. Boom, boom. Just fantastic. I've got to think the players in the near court are probably tennis players as well. They have not hit a lot of third shot drops. Their opponents have. Therefore, they are behind in this game. Perfect. Nope. Great defense. Oh, it didn't make it over. Nice reset. Somehow that ball popped up and up to where she could get it. I guess you call that a dead dink or a dead reset. It looked good to me. Let's take a look. See, this looks good, but she's able to put something on it. It probably was going out of the court, but it's just like a reaction to try to hit that ball. Whenever a player takes a swing from where she takes this swing, watch where she is. Full swing at the non-volley zone. Yep, that ball was going out of the court, but there was nothing Mandy could do. She just could not get out of the way quick enough. Did you see that? Did you see what Mandy did? Wow, watch this. This is just a very good point. But again, here's the third shot drive. Cannot move forward. Cannot move forward. Oh, she went all the way down to the ground to get that. I think as good as the team is in the near court, the biggest problem is the female player is trying to win with forehands from behind the service line. She has just been out of position too many times. This is not tennis. When a ball is hit from behind the service line, because it's a wiffle ball, by the time it gets over the net, it has slowed down quite a bit and their opponents can get the ball back. Okay, here comes her tennis background. She's winding up to hit a third shot drive right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, Mandy, that is just absolutely perfect. Actually, that was the player in White's partner's fault. He moved forward, not knowing if that third shot drive was going to be effective. It was not. He was in the transition zone, and Mandy hit it right at his feet. Perfect job by Mandy. Perfect. That is why the team in the far court is winning this game. Nice speed up. Oh, a free point for the team in the back court. The biggest mistake a team can make, not getting the return of serve into the court. There we go. Perfect. Don't get me wrong, the team in the near court is very, very good. However, the team in the back court has a better all-around game. Now the team in the near court is calling a timeout. Okay, after calling a timeout, let's see if they can regroup here and do a little bit better, maybe make a comeback. Instead, she hits the ball out of the court, giving her opponents another free point. And this game is just about over. 
drive there. Goodbye. You just cannot make a return to serve this shallow. You're going to get cream just about every time when you're playing good players. Watch this. Boom. Boom. That's side of the court. Let's out a scream, and that is the end of the game. This is something called a money ball open. The team in the far court won some money for winning this gold medal match. I'm not sure how much they won, but I know they got a check at the end of the game. So there you have it. The team that hit a combination of third shot drops and third shot drives won the game by the score of 15 to 5. I just want to emphasize, I think all four players were fantastic, but I did notice there was a big difference in the way the two teams approached the game. I'm thinking the players on the team that lost are also tennis players and they model their pickleball game after their tennis game. Unfortunately for them, pickleball is not tennis. The strategy is different. It's very difficult to win a pickleball game from behind the service line or in the transition zone. Now both players smoked their third shot drives, however a lot of times their third shot drives did not allow them to move forward on the court. Therefore, they had to play a lot of points out of position, and I think that is what cost them the game. I mean, did you see anything differently? If you did, please take the time to leave a comment in the comment section below. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video, and if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to check out my online store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching, and see you on the court.